On this occasion, I would like to explain the Azen Sensor Matrix using a computer application. Azen Sensor Matrix is a means of representing the nodes or nodes of the graph which perfect adjacent order. So, let's start this program. We are we create the a program that could be used for the application of the agent sensor matrix. We are students in the State University of Malang of Informatic Technique. This program was created by Bayu Adisa Putra and Robbie Oktarian RT. The first step that must be done when the program is run is by entering the number of the nodes that we want. In this case, we use four for the nodes. Then, we choose the type of graph that we want it to be. In this case, we use the method with directed type. Furthermore, we choose the coordinate that we want to input a value of 1. On the first coordinate, we use the coordinates are located in the first row and the third column. Then, we use the coordinate in the first column and fourth row. Next, we enter the coordinate in the second row and the first column and then we enter again the coordinates are located in the second row and four column. Next, we use the coordinate in the third column and the third row. Next, we use the coordinate in the third row and the second column. And the last, we enter the coordinates are located in the fourth row and the first column. After that, we continue to press enter. Then, we press the follow of zero space zero to see the result of the input coordinates which we have entered. The result of the coordinate we have fit can take a look at the following Azen Sensei Matrix display. On the display, we can see the figure we have fit earlier here, 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 and here. After we saw early program, we will explain the concept of the adjacent matrix. First, we look at the coordinate of the point one row created from the column A to C and then we draw a line from A to C. Next, we look at the coordinate of the point one created from the column A to D. So we draw the line from A to D. And then we look at the coordinate of point one row created from the column B to A.
and then we create again the line from the column B to D. Next, we draw again the line from the row C to A. You'll see the coordinate of A because there is an arrow for kinetic A and C. We simply add an opposite direction of the arrow and then C to B. And the last one is we draw a line from column B to A. And because there is an arrow connecting B and A, we simply add the opposite direction of the arrow. Adjacency matrix of the program so that we can explain. So, thank you.